I'm gonna give you a comparison of the four best airline companion passes. What's up, Wise Flyers? Welcome to another video. If you're new here and you wanna learn how to travel anywhere in the world almost free by using credit cards and travel points, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss a thing. Most people have heard of the Southwest Airlines Companion Pass. It is the best deal there is out there to get a buy one, get one free companion fare. But there are other companion passes as well. There are actually more than I have on this list today, but these are the most popular ones. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the four best airline companion passes you could get with a credit card, how to get these companion passes, and the pros and cons of each one. Let's start with the most popular and best one of all, which is the Southwest Airlines Companion Pass. So in order to get the Southwest Airlines Companion Pass, you need to get 110,000 Southwest Rapid Rewards in one calendar year. So that's January to December. You could fly enough times on Southwest to earn it the hard way, but the easy way is to just get the Southwest Airline credit cards and get the companion pass by getting the sign-up bonuses. Usually the Southwest cards will be at 50,000, sometimes 60,000 rapid reward points, and then you could easily meet that minimum threshold of 100,000, 110,000 Southwest rapid reward points to get that companion pass. Once you activate your companion pass, after reaching the threshold of 110,000 rapid reward points, then you could select whichever partner you want, friend, spouse, travel partner in crime, and you guys could go anywhere you want that Southwest flies and you only have to pay the taxes of the second person. So this could be paid with points or it could be paid with cash. Either way, you're only gonna be paying the taxes of your companion and you could change that companion up to three times in that calendar year. So if you wanted to go from New York to Los Angeles and you buy a round trip for 15,000 Southwest Rapid Reward Points, you would only have to pay the taxes of around $11 for your companion. And let's just say you paid the cash price for that as well, you would only have to pay the taxes for your companion. So I won't go over into all of the rules and details in this video on the Southwest Companion Pass, but I did create a video you could click the link above here and I talk about all the different rules and regulations and secrets to getting the Southwest Companion Pass. Next on the list is the Delta Companion Certificate, which can be earned with Delta Airlines and you could earn this with two credit cards. You could either get the American Express Platinum Delta Sky Miles personal card or the American Express Platinum Delta Sky Miles business card. And you could only use the companion fares within the continental 48 states. And the only way you could use it from or to Alaska or Hawaii is if you live in either one of those states. So you're pretty much limited to the continental US, assuming you live there. And compared to the Southwest Companion Pass, it's anywhere that Southwest flies, which is the Caribbean, Mexico. And with the Delta Companion Certificate, no matter how high the taxes and fees are, when you're traveling, it'll be capped at $75. But since you're gonna be traveling within the US, the taxes and fees won't be too high to begin with. And you receive the Companion Certificate after your second year. So when you get the Delta Platinum Sky Miles card and you pay the annual fee, you'll get it for the second year. You won't be able to get it the first year, but the second year and every year after that, that you pay the annual fee. Currently for the American Express Platinum Delta Sky Miles card, you'll get a sign-up bonus of 35,000 miles after completing the minimum spending of $1,000 in three months with an annual fee of $195. You also get a $100 statement credit as well. So keep in mind that is a low sign-up bonus, but if you could get a lot of value out of the $95, assuming you get that $100 statement credit, you will get a lot of value out of the companion certificate. 
And if you want to apply for any of the cards mentioned in this video or any other cards with big sign-up bonuses, you could click the link in the description and by using our links, you support the channel and it's still free to you. Next is the British Airways Travel Together ticket, which could be offered by the Chase British Airways credit card. And there are a few hurdles you have to jump through to get this companion fare. When I say British Airways Metal, that means the actual British Airways airplane, not any partner airlines. So if you've ever looked up British Airways flights over to Europe, where pretty much all British Airways flights go to, it redirects through London. Even if you're going to Rome or Paris, you'll always go through London and have fuel surcharges, sometimes up to $1,000 for a round trip. Just with a few quick searches on the British Airways search engine, you can see that this companion fare is not worth going for, but it is valid up to two years, assuming you could get a lot of benefit out of it. Next up is the Alaska Airlines companion fare, which is a pretty good companion pass in my opinion. So you could get the companion fare with two Alaska Airlines credit cards through Bank of America. It's the Alaska Airlines personal version and business version. Both are offering a sign-up bonus of 3,000 Alaska Airlines after completing the minimum spending of $1,000 in three months with an annual fee of $75. And because Alaska Airlines recently absorbed Virgin American Airlines, you have a lot more locations that you could fly to with Alaska Airlines. The Alaska Airlines companion fare costs $99 plus taxes and fees for your companion. So you could fly anywhere you want and you just pay a capped $99 plus taxes and fees. Alaska Airlines has some really good rates for flights that you could get, especially to the Caribbean. So if you could take advantage of this, Mostly if you live on the West Coast, this would be a really good companion fare to take advantage of, especially if you're only gonna pay $75 in an annual fee per year to get this companion fare. So there are some options to get companion fares with a credit card, usually after you pay the annual fee. So the only difference between the three companion fares that I talked about compared to Southwest is that they are one time per year. Compared to Southwest, when it is two years, as many times as you want, and you're only paying the taxes and fees, no additional costs. The only problem with the Southwest Companion Pass is that you are limited to the US, you can't go over to Europe, and you can't get premium seats since Southwest doesn't have any business class seats. So in that case, in rare cases, the British Airways Travel Together ticket could benefit you if you wanna to go to Europe, but I think that one is only good if you're gonna do business class, then the high fuel surcharges can be justified because it will be cheaper. And if you don't live near an airport that has Southwest Airlines, you won't be able to use the Southwest Companion Pass. Therefore, the Delta Companion Certificate could be your best option, assuming there is an airport near you that has a Delta. What has been your experience with getting companion passes or companion fares? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and wanna watch more videos on credit cards and travel points, you could click either one of these videos over here. You could click that now, and I'll see you in the next video.